Hey there guys, this is Dan from Screaming Frog and this is the Screaming Frog SEO Spider. It's a program that you can download and install on a Windows, Mac or Linux machine and it crawls websites and it analyzes them from an SEO perspective for common SEO issues. It is a free tool that you can download and use for crawling up to 500 URLs. If you'd like to crawl more than that or have access to the advanced configuration options, things like JavaScript rendering, saving of crawls, custom extraction, integration with Google Analytics, Google Search Console, and lots more, you can buy an annual license for £149. You can see that I'm crawling the Screaming, Screaming Frog website here. You can see the average and current number of URLs being crawled in the middle at the bottom, and the, those completed the number remaining in the bottom right. And you can see the type of data that's already being collected. So obviously the URLs, the content, the status code, the indexability of a URL, whether it's indexable or non-indexable, the page title and character and pixel widths, meta descriptions, and the same there. H1s, H2s, so the headings of the page. Meta robots, canonicals, pagination, size, word count, crawl depth, in links, out links, hash value, which is a duplicate content check, and lots more, lots of data. And you can see if you click on the URLs in this top window pane here, it populates this lower window pane with more granular information. So details on that. And you can think like the in-links to the page and the anchor text, the outlinks from a page, the images on a page and the respective alt text, the resources on a page, how the page may appear in the Google search results, um, for example. And all of this data is um, exportable as well. You can pause a crawl, you can press stop, and exports and use this export button here which exports this view that you can see and you can see all data is grouped within these various tabs at the top here and each of these tabs has a filter which organize data by type and by by issues so i can view things like the external links any websites that we link out to uh, protocol whether any urls are secure or insecure the response codes of pages so whether it's going to be redirects or errors and things like that you can see that we have various errors here. So these are broken links. I can view the, the source page of that. So I can see I may want to go and fix this guide page and stop linking to this, this broken link here. URL issues, so common issues like non sq characters, underscores, uppercase characters, duplicate pages, common issues with page titles, missing page titles, duplicates, particularly long or short page titles. The same with meta descriptions, headings, Images, things like missing alt text or particularly large images. Various issues with canonicals, pagination, directives, so things like no index and no follow you can have a look at. If you have an international setup, you have hreflang, you can view those. If you're using the old Ajax crawling scheme, you can view details on that. Amps, amp, site maps. Um, we have a custom source code search that allows you to find anything in the HTML of a, of a web page. You can connect to analytics, Google Search Console, and link metrics providers to put in lots of data. So there's lots of information here, and you can see that the crawl's pretty much finished. It's at 99% now. Um, and you can go in and view all the different configuration options if you're a more advanced user and select exactly what you want to crawl and any limits on, on the crawl itself. You can also switch mode, so you don't have to call a website. You can upload a list of URLs, or you can upload a sitemap and just crawl that. You can bulk export all data found in the crawl. There's various reports. You can create a sitemap. There's some very cool visualizations, which help you get a better understanding of the, the architecture of a website. And you can zoom in and out of these and have a play. So there's lots of data here that we think will, will help you uh, improve your on-site SEO. If you have any questions, then do let us know. We hope you like the tool. Thanks.